Hey everybody, welcome back. Turbo level 21. Getting close to level 22. And I'm still here out in front of Runny Eye. Stepping inside, let's kill some things. All right, we've got work to do. Let's take a quick look. And looky there, just me inside, nobody else. It's all mine. Nobody to help me. Nobody to share the mobs. Whoa, look at all these guys. We've got two on our tails. Uh-oh, we got three on our tails. All right. I scored a critical hit for 25 damage. So we're using a dagger. It procs for 12 damage. There it goes off twice. Nice. 82% of the way through the level. Skills increasing quickly. But let's do something. Get rid of the copper. I'm going to actually put on my two-hander. I have not raised the two-hander skill yet. There's my weapon bag. All right, we need to clear some space here. Hmm. So this bag is filled up. We're gonna get rid of these rawhide sleeves so I can do this here. Uh-oh, hurry up and get the weapon on. There it is, the big, the big one. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh crap, I was not paying attention. I was changing weapons and then I think a goblin got loose and he's bringing his friends. Let's fight right here. A spore man. Take the spore man out. Now we're gonna see some big damage. I was just eating some pretzels, soft pretzels. It's a shame I didn't have any ranch or something nice to dip those in. Maybe even some pet may pesto mayo would be okay. I just what I did is I had one of those Nusa yogurt cups. I dipped the pretzel in the yogurt. It was okay. All right, how are we gonna do? Seventy-four percent XP. Give this skill time to rise. How's it not gone up yet? It's so cool that I can still slam while using a two-hander. That's such a nice skill. The advantages of playing a Ogre Shadow Knight, you get slam without needing a shield. And frontal stun immunity, that's amazing. Of course, the stats. The stats are so important. I am almost maxed out on my strength. Well, of course, I've got storm strength on. Hey, that's contributing a big, big amount to it. Come on, die. Getting hit in the behind. Get him. There he goes. 87%. Continuing on our journey, the journey to get to level 50. Well, at least level 50, right? Maybe max level, who knows? All right, why is the skill going up so slowly? It's at 36. As it goes up, we're gonna do some huge damage. At the moment, the damage is moderately high. I could be killing quicker if I was using dual wield, but we need to start raising these skills. You just can't wait to we're high level to do it. Keep these skills up. Let's at least get it to level 60, two hand slash. That's a that's a good goal. We're at 37 at the moment. And 87% experience. We're gonna get up to close to 90, I bet. Thing considers blue to me. 
and of course it took us to level took us to 90 points so let me uh, clear my throat for a second okay I'm back let's loot some corpses we left corpses behind here they are nice yeah he's not gonna come up for us he's too weak but there's other things here like that well that was a green I wouldn't mind killing a green at the moment because I need to work on oh where's he going he just ran in there oh a mine chopper oh here we go so I'm gonna tag him with an arrow as he goes by quick oh he got it off the arrow went right into the wall though I thought I was going to get three, uh, two ads. So this guy is nuking the hell out of me. It's a good thing we got skin like nature. Courtesy of Tofu, the friendly druid. Halfling. I call them hobbits still. It's an old habit to call them hobbits. From the brandy wine, from brandy buck, full of a took. So, oh, 110 damage. That's our critical hit. That might be my maximum damage so far, but that's not going to be the max damage for long. So I'm going to step outside so I can sit without getting these things to adding on to me. I'll be right back with full life. All right, back in action. We're in the citadel. Nearly full life. Spirit of Wolf is gone. Time to be more careful. Oh, a peon. Thought I would I thought I would do one hit kill on this thing. Wow, he's got more life than I expected. Well darn it, just die now. I just don't even want to mess with you. I thought you'd die in one hit. Okay. Now on to the big game. All right, here we go. Oh, a bone mender. That's green. The aggro radius is really small. Like, what's up? Turn around and attack me. We're going to get him and, well, just a single, I guess. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Next thing I know, there's three on me. That's what makes this dungeon dangerous. It's kind of got a little bit of Black Burrow vibes, you know, narrow hallways, cavernous, and it descends from above. You go down. Well, that wasn't too bad, only 43 points of damage. Uh oh, they're starting to heal. It's some of these guys, the healers. It's so annoying. Oh well, it gives me a chance to raise my two-hand slashing. We're at now 40 points in two-hand slashing. And hey, I'm 92% of the way through the level. So this thing I'm fighting is blue to me. There's some more guys. They just come running out that door and they just do a circuit. It won't be long and we'll start going down, down, down. And there's a banker in this dungeon. So the amazing thing is, is if I can get down to the banker, I can deposit the things in the bank. All right, how are we doing? Dang, I'm like almost full life. Now this is not one you want to get let get away. There we go, 110 damage. Oh, check it out. You get these blackened iron boots. What is hitting me? Get up here. Sweet. So this one considers green. It should be quickly killed. So work was a long, actually it wasn't long, it just felt long. I am off tomorrow. I am so excited to have a day off. I'm gonna sleep in first of all, 
And then I'm going to wake up and play EverQuest. But I wanted to make a video to upload for tomorrow. I'm now at, I'm now at 993 subs. Seven more to go when I hit 1,000 subs. I've been making videos for about a year. Maybe a little over a year now. I was so young when I started. All right, we don't even need to rest. It's time to fight. Two more kills. And we'll hit this next level. All right. I'm, I'm going to get stronger, guys. And we're going to move beyond this point. Very soon. We won't always keep fighting at this ramp, but at the moment, it's the safest thing to do. I am currently bound in Greater Fey. We do not want to die out here. I feel bad for my buddy. He's got to go to work tomorrow, and I'm off. We're both having a rough time. And it's nice to work together. It's good to have someone to have your back while working. Oh, nice. He's picking up speed. Look at that green glistening. Well, he's got like butt cheeks. So I'm, right now I'm reading a really interesting audiobook in the Warhammer series. I'm, I don't enjoy all of them. Some of them are kind of, they just drag on. But the one I'm listening to now, it has to do with the Word Bearers a Legion. And these are guys who, um, well, the Primarch I never liked before, but I'm really getting into this one. It's got a lot of things with demons heretics and all that very interesting stuff i like the lore i think they dragged the whole horse heresy on too long and uh they could have like made some of the content more Ooh, pull them here they didn't need to add so many side characters i feel like they did that just to make more money stretch the chain of events into many many more books but it just made so much forgettable content in my opinion but you know they got to make money i guess and they made a heck of a lot of money off of me i think i've spent at least 500 dollars on this franchise already it's been well worth it because right before i started playing everquest again i got into warhammer 40,000. everquest and warhammer have been my major hobby for the last year and a half And I got to say, many car rides to work that could have otherwise been pretty miserable have been entertaining because of audiobooks. So what kind of audiobooks are you guys into? I hear the new Dune movies coming out. My sister bought tickets for us. And I recall very fondly driving through Dallas-Fort Worth, the worst traffic I've ever experienced, and it was such a joy because I was had the Dune audiobook. It was amazing. So ding, level 22. Things are going to pick up now. So now that I'm a little stronger, let's get a little bit more brave and dangerous. Okay, so at the moment, we have 696 AC. After fighting this, I'm going to back up. In fact, we need to back up now so we don't get too many ads at once. And I'm going to cast with this Lodigal Sh Lodazol Shell Boots. There's an effect of turtle skin, and we're going to use this. I keep forgetting to take advantage of this spell effect. Really cool boots. Oh, he's taking off. Get back. Where'd he go? Oh, no. Yeah, this is super sloppy gameplay. Guys, I worked um, 12 hours and it took me two hours to get home. It was the worst traffic I've ever had. 
in a year today. Absolutely awful. So on top of having a decently long day at work, I sat in traffic for two hours a day. I actually took off, let's see what kind of ore this is. Oh, that stuff's worth a lot too. It's worth a lot of money. Bone mender, cool. Oh, I forgot to put my spell effect on. Turtle boots. So I've been watching a lot of those YouTube short clips. And I really enjoy the nostalgic videos where they play like... Um, there's a song they always play in all the videos. And they show old bits of food that, that, that they no longer offer. Like um, fruit stripes gum or something like that. And it's from the 90s. So I consider myself a 90s kid. I loved... All those things. But, you know, I didn't have a great childhood. I don't think it was that amazing. It could have been a great time in my life, though. Um, my parents were young, you know. Oh, let's see. Aeolius. Aeolius says, hey, man, didn't expect to see you here. Seen your YouTube videos. Well, cool. Let's say hi to him as soon as I can get this thing wrangled. Uh-oh. Crap, where'd he go? <laughs> Be careful. Dying is serious business. This far away from a buying point. Uh-oh. Come on. Stop. Why can't I hit him? Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Look how far he gets away. All right. Retreat back into the safe zone. Next thing I know, I'm going to be like disoriented I can't move there we go I guess I was stuck on a wall let's get back up here to safety and let's reply come on I'm stunned all right what's this thing has been bothering me this whole time this little guy okay so what I'm gonna do now we're gonna pick up the speed a little bit no, let's keep using two hand slash. Let's just keep doing it. We're gonna get big damage hits soon. We gotta be patient. And as soon as I kill this, let's talk to, let's say hi to Aeolian. I think that's his name. Aeolius. Aeolius. Probably pronounced it wrong. Come on, get him. There we go. I'm even missing the bashes. Here we go. Whew. All right, let's get this. Let's get up here and let's reply. All right, I saw your message. Glad you, you're you enjoying the content. So cool meeting people here. And so let's go ahead and give her... Can I cast it on him? Oh, you can even cast it on other people. Amazing. <laughs> we gave him turtle skin. Let's give ourselves turtle skin. 707 AC, 717, very nice. Now let's go back to our two hand weapons. I'm gonna use this, my favorite weapon, and my second favorite weapon will be um, that whip that looks like a belt. There we go. Of course, man, I love seeing new EQ comment, keep it up. See you around north, dude. That's north. What level is he? He's a uh, anonymous. Well, 
let's go this way. This seems to be my, yeah, happy hunting. If you see the video, happy hunting, Elias. It's also cool seeing people out in the world. I've been getting um, suggestions that I that I, I check out Quorum. And I, I must say, it's piqued my interest, but I'm gonna stay on P99 for now. Um, I've established you know, a lot of cool people as my network here, my friends. Um, and you know, I've invested time in some characters here. But maybe a future project can be on Quorum, and I, I know it's it's a good time to get into it right now. Oh, a Zix Specker. A Zek speaker. Here we go. Two hand slashing with my mighty weapons. One hand slashing is my main skill in combat. And this is where the maximum damage comes using this. These skills are nearly maxed out. And uh, it's very good when you're chasing down mobs that are fleeing from you and you don't want them to get away. So keep it on the two hand slash. Keep it on the one hand slash. So we're doing critical hits for 45 damage, but that's off these one-hand slash weapons. Expect more damage, and the procs are so good. Look at that proc, 85 damage. Someone mentioned that the animation for the proc might be slowing down my DPS. I paid very close attention. When the proc animation is going off, I still see the combat log registering hits. Even if I'm not swinging, my character model is not swinging, I see registered hits there. So I'm not positive, but... I don't think it's slowing me down. Maybe someone can confirm or deny that. There's a lot of people out there who are experts at this game, far more knowledgeable than myself. I consider myself moderately knowledgeable. I think I have invested a lot of time in every class, at least to a moderate level of, you know, I've never maxed out characters, but I played Druid. Oh, dude, just pops out of there. All right, be careful now. Be careful. So what I'm going to do on this next video, not this video, but the next one, we're actually going to start going further down. Right now, I'm just kind of dipping my toes into it a little. And as I slowly descend down these corridors, I'm going to learn my way. I want to know my way around cold where I can just run and know exactly where to go. Just like in Blackboro. If I'm in Blackboro, I know every corridor in that place. It's just memorized. I've been there so many times. And I can also learn this dungeon just as well, but it takes time. You have to uh, spend a lot of time here, running the hallways. Ooh, he considers yellow. Here's what I'm talking about. Because I can be getting levels a little quicker and missed more. Um, but I've spent so many videos and episodes and missed more. We need to expand a little bit and try out new things because before I tried missed more, I didn't know it was, you know, so great. And now it's my favorite place to go. So I'm being careful now. We're down to 50% life. This thing is yellow to me. We'll win, but this is uh, going to require me to rest. But this is going to be big amount of XP when I kill this guy. 13% of the way through the level. Somebody suggested that I should start streaming. I would love to start streaming. Um, I mean, I can talk nonstop, but a lot of it's just nonsense. Just talking about random things. And um, I mean, I would enjoy making streaming videos. I don't know how many people would be interested in watching that. The problem with it is you got to do it at certain times of the day when people are available. And it's more of a live interaction thing. Let's see what kind of weapon. Rusty. You'd think something nicer. All those goblins I've killed and we've only gotten one piece of blackened iron. But blackened iron, a full set looks amazing. I can imagine back in the classic days before there was a lot of expansions. If you had a full set of black and iron, you would probably look, I mean, like you're geared for end game. It would look amazing. And I'm a big fan of having a matching outfit. Like 
all matching pieces. I just think it looks amazing. So I'm going to step out and time to rest up a little. Maybe a few more kills and we'll call this episode done. And maybe I'll grind a little off, off the record, you know. So when we come back, I'll be closer to level 23. Actually, guys, I'll take this opportunity because I'm so sleepy. It's now 11, it's 10, 24 p.m. And the date is Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hope you take your sweetheart out. And um, I got some cookies. So I'm going to, it's kind of my um, Valentine's thing. I got some cookies delivered to me. Um, some snickerdoodles. Those are my favorite cookies. So I got a bunch of snickerdoodles. And I'm going to go chow down on snickerdoodles <laughs> right before bed. And oh, what's this? He's got a horn on him. Let's do it. Guys, one more kill. We can do this one more kill. Sorry for saying goodbye when it's one more kill. It's like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Man, that I'm I'm dating myself there. There was old commercials where Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop, and they would pop the top of the Pringles can. Do you guys remember those Doritos that they sold with Alestra? They contain like so you have lipases, they're enzymes that digest fat in your body. And these chips, I guess, had stuff that uh, it was indigestible. And so you would lose weight by consuming stuff with fat in it that you couldn't digest. A minotaur horn. Cool. So we're up to 19% of the way through the levels. And I'm going to camp out here. And if you ever had the Lustra, you know the side effect is loose, greasy stools. Don't eat it before work. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.